What's going on? Steve Maeda here, and this is the second question that we have for the 21 convention. It actually comes from somebody named Ecstasy. He writes uh, something nice about me, which you know you can read if you like. Uh, but we'll get to the question. Whenever I'm approaching a girl, I always feel like I have an agenda, whether it's to overcome AA, to get a kiss, or to get laid. As a result, I feel like I'm always wanting something from her, which I'm sure she can sense. What's a good way to, a practical way to change this mindset? Okay, this is a great question because it's something that whether a pickup artist wants to admit it or not, they deal with it all the time because you, when you get in that mode of wanting something, it, people can sense it. The human connection is bigger than a technique or a set of an algorithm or, or whatever. And to think of it in that way, it means you're going to be selling yourself short absolutely on every human experience. So when it comes to uh, actually gaining attraction or getting better with these things, you have to answer a simple question. Do you want to be a pickup artist or do you want to be somebody that's good with women? Uh, as uh, I say, uh, as Savage says, as guys like Fuji say, in fact, I was talking to Darren, Darren Fujiyama yesterday and uh, we were talking about the three of us and it's like, look, we're all saying different things, but we're all evolving and the consistency consistencies are amazing but what we're saying is do you want to be a pickup artist is that your end goal or do you want to be a seducer and so in order to answer that I want to define these things a pickup artist what do they do there's somebody that despite whatever obstacles whatever things in their way they can go in and get attention from women and, you know, as the legend goes, they can end up seducing her and date some of the most beautiful women in the world. However, what pickup artist has achieved that? And, uh, you know, I hate to be really critical, but, like, look, a lot of the guys suck. They're terrible. They can't, they don't even come close. The market has now defined the quality out there. So the market of the pickup artist industry and what it's selling you has now become the definition rather than the result or the quality. There's no quality control. In fact, the bigger the companies get, the, uh, man, the, the more bizarre they get out there. But to be good with women, what I've found almost has less to do with those pickup artist techniques. And they're helpful, they're a starting place, but more to do with how you're going to be able to assert yourself and show who you are. So look, don't be ashamed of your motives. That's something that has always been said in terms of pickup. Don't be ashamed of your motives. There's plenty of women out there, abundance, yada, yada, yada. But when you start thinking it from a level of purpose, what do you want from this girl? There's nothing wrong with it. And anybody who tells you it's uh, you know some sort of demonstration of lower value to go up and talk to a girl because she's attractive and not know what to say and actually say that, you know, I, I would say doesn't have much experience with women, doesn't really get female psychology. Uh, in fact, I don't even think there is female psychology. There, we're, we're very similar people. Um, the more you know about this yourself, the better it is you can make a connection with somebody. But look, if you bring this topic up to women, I think that should be something you should do at least five times in the next week. Uh, we're going up to a girl, you can say, hey, look. In fact, uh, my buddy Josh, this is exactly what he did, and it's really, really kind of cool. He does it as an opener. They usually do it to a waitress, but you can kind of do it anywhere. And what he would say is he'd say, hey, you know what? I want to ask you something. I have uh, actually started consulting with some people, um, you know, in a, a life coach type person, and I feel that I'm in a place in my life where I can attract women, can talk to women, but at the same time, it's not always me. And the reason why I asked you is because I, you're somebody that I'd be very attracted to, and he wants me to ask these types of questions to him. But at the same time, one of the rules is, is there can't be a motive of any sort of like, you know, sexuality to it. So let me ask you something. Um, in my life, I have gotten good with these things, but what makes that real human connection? And that's what I'm trying to find out today. When you're attracted to somebody, how do you feel it and what do you feel? And I think if you start asking questions like that to women, you will see how similar women and men think. Um, you might get some BS answers back right away. However, press for them. You know, just like as I told Jonas, if she gave you a BS answer kind of like, oh man, 
you know, I don't know, humor or what a confidence. You can say, no, 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 what makes you actually switch and really like them, really like them? Because the last thing I would ever want is a superficial conversation, and actually say this too. The last thing I would ever want if I connect with a girl, if I have a conversation with her, is to have a conversation based on something that's not me. Let alone if I'm kissing her and sharing a moment with her, or if I'm intimate with her, or having sex with her. I don't want it to be a reaction. I don't want it to be a fear. I want it to be really her. So what is it? You know, when do you, so when do you feel that when you're with a guy? It's not just humor. It's not just confidence. Like, when do you really feel that? And uh, if you want to know the, the second part of this technique and kind of like what I told Jonas is all you have to do is whatever answer she gives after that is say, you know what? Especially if you like it because you are going to get answers that you like and you're, not gonna, you're going to get answers that you don't like. All you're going to do is qualify based off of that. All right? So let's say she gives you an answer that you like and she goes, man, you know, I don't know. Uh, I guess like when I'm on the same level with somebody, all you have to do is say, you know what? Man. Somebody I should totally talk to. I know I'm breaking a rule, but uh, you know we should talk sometime. Nothing crazy. Like let's actually, you know, fuck, man. I don't. I don't want to have relationships that I don't care about. I want to have relationships that I do care about. All right. So the main rule is: Do you want to be a pickup artist? Because if you do, you're going to get stuck going in a circle. I've never seen somebody pull it off. I've seen the best pickup artists in the world get laid, get tons of SNLs, get tons of sex, and still have all those questions unanswered for them about you know, what a woman wants and what a man needs to be. Or do you want to be somebody that's good with women? Do you want to be a seducer? Do you want to be somebody that, uh, you know, can be good at making a connection with somebody and sharing something rather than leveraging? All right? Different perspective. Listen to the right people. And you'll go far. All right, thanks for the question. Keep them coming. Go to uh, my YouTube page, youtube.com slash theredmolecom, and subscribe and sign up on my email list. Stay tuned to my blog, there's a bunch of videos there too, theredmole.com, and buy your tickets to the 21 convention.